Te Papa has opened the doors on a show by some of the world's most revered Impressionist painters. But the multi-million dollar collection featuring Claude Monet and friends is already making some enemies. One critic suggests the capital is hogging the show. Alexi O'Brien reports. Claude Monet makes water lilies luminous and his snowflakes swirl from the canvas. Amazing. Don't know anything about art, but oh, it's just brought it all to life. It's incredible to have this sort of level of artwork in New Zealand. The paintings are normally housed in the Boston Gallery of Fine Art, but it was renovating, so they were loaned to Te Papa. It sounds like hype, but when you say it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, it is. It will never happen again. And that has art lovers in the capital queuing up to see more than 50 works by Monet and his contemporaries, Renoir, Cezanne and Degas. At exhibitions like this, you generally be kept behind barriers to keep you away from the priceless artworks. But these have all been glazed with a fine glass, so you can get right up close and inspect the detail. Uh, you feel as if you're in the picture. You feel as if you're there. Yeah. It gives you real emotion. Te Papa hopes 100,000 will pay the $15 charge to feel that emotion. One critic says that's hard to grasp, given Te Papa is taxpayer funded already. He also wonders why the works aren't travelling other centres. Somehow we have to break this notion that Te Papa is only there. It's all of our place, not just their place. Well, I can understand that people would be uh, disappointed, but um, most of the international exhibitions that come to New Zealand, in fact, only go to one venue. Te Papa's also facing extra costs for security and insurance. It's not allowed to say how much the collection's worth, but it's estimated at between $500 million and a billion dollars. Priceless works that will leave a lasting impression. Alexia O'Brien, One News.